for the mail. <laughs> Marketplace all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual camp out. A uh, strop. I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. <laughs> I know you have, Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Hmm. Not exactly. More like Apple's step-by-step -step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but, you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is gonna be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow. Great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually. None of you are in it. Just me. I'm going to demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're light, Strawberry. Phew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond! I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk! You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate! Plum's got it in her canteen! Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire, and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing campout traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? <sighs> Almond. Got it. We're all set. Let's do it.
can start shooting. Come on, tea time. We're supposed to be relaxing and having fun. <laughs> oh, I better catch up with her. You do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... <laughs> Precious marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dagnabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Hey 
Now, looky here. Might come in handy next time we're high-stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! Oh, blusteration. It went down a critter hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes a nothing. So, Fico, we clumb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <gasps> well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now. That canteen is iron, Buster. Kind of hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Ballerish. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Rain him in! Get up, cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... No almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Poloning Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. I say, old girl, capital idea. Sticks. 
Don't you like our tall tails? What tall tails? Wait a minute. Oh no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. It's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I'll get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry. I don't know, it's... it's just too... embarrassing. Come on! Well... It's like this. You see... We just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? Hey, check it! My new dance routine! are so busted. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry, before someone sees us. Can't find my keys. Oh, here, hold this. Marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom? You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey! Get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. <sighs> we'll catch you! Here! Whoa! Get out of here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside. On the counter. Next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. 
season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. So, one of a kind. 
Oh, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. <gasps> but the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? That's right, for many years. <laughs> I have no Me idea. Too. And so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. Uh, I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm, I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm, no, that's not it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, 
Maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just wanted to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape. Right size? I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. Uh, hey, well, where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But, Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that. Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying, but it was Orange who copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. Oh, I did it. Copy. Girls, who's oh, copying? Girls, who's copying? Who's copying? Who's copying? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, cupcake. 
I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hold on a minute. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's happened? What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait! That's... that's... that's my design! That's right! And I drew one just like it! Hey, me too! So did I! We all did! I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then... then... I accused you all of copying me! When you didn't! Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's, do Let's do it! Come on! Come on, Come on everybody! How's this looking? Awesome! How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah! yeah. Give me another yeah. second! Yeah. Give, me a, give me another second! I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? Thank you! When things aren't looking up And it seems you're out of luck Just think behind the clouds could be a few 
since raspberry lip gloss. I'm so glad you like them.
my goodness, this is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamacure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not going to be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she... she... Oh, she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hairstylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. Yeah, right. 
Strawberry'd never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. She's really nice about things what like this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would... Uh, I would... I would put up with my glamicure forever. Us too. Well, then it's decided. We'll never tell Lemon her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right. It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. One, three, two, seven, eight, nine. Isn't the signal for nap time? Nothing is. Huh? What? for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. I know. How about if I do my pruning later, and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just terrible? Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh... I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it. After our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, 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 looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Oh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Join me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Lights nice and bright? So bright you almost need sunglasses. 
<laughs> oh, good! Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? I uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamic here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. You know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> hey, did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. <laughs> Oh, well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Look! Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? 
We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Hi! Wow! Do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never... I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Whew. We didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved super glamicures. Uh, super uh, glamicures? Really? I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh, controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yeah! <laughs> Especially the off switch. Yeah! <laughs> Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barricanville. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Barricans get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> Patty Persimmon in the Case of the Beach Burglar, Part 1. Great! Now, Part 2. Hmm. Let's see here, Patty Persimmon. Ah, there it is! Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. <gasps> Aha! Part three! Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> 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 what happened with my very best fruit fashion sunscreen? Maybe too much lime? Oh. 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 Thanks, Blueberry. Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <gasps> psst, psst. Oh, over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? 
<gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what? Um, that's raspberry. Oh, morning, raspberry. Morning, Plum. <sighs> is everything gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, bags? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no. I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Oh, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Bertram! Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I have... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, Berry Breezy Bay Resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at Berry Breezy Bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Berry Breezy Bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere. Bad weather. Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... Glorious Berry Bitty Beach. Bertram? With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to. <laughs> <laughs> Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. We're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you a lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. 
I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where Mega Pop Star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra luxurious, very breezy Bay Resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive, reclusive, very breezy bay resort? It's really the happy, home-built, very bitty city resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... Uh, this isn't very breezy bay resort. It's very bitty city resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry! Where's my little superstar? Quick, under here! <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing here? Shh! Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry! Cherry! <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm, this gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that is it! I can't find her! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. <laughs> it worked. Bertram, do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. <laughs> You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. Hi, Mavis. Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? Bye. Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this Berry Breezy Bay? Um, but it's not Berry Breezy Bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back, relax! <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? 
I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our first guest. <laughs> Isn't it... Uh, well, there are no words to describe. Now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well, just think. She'll give our resort a great review. And we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great. Except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> Crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry jam. <gasps> Run for your life. It's the attack of the pinching crabs. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting. Fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis. One maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. <sighs> a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground, new ground. Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but... Why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry! 
very dear. Don't wish me safe travels, because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner, if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Very Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous Passage Island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes! Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino! Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island! Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles. Are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been up front and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. or roast pineapple squares over the fire. Well, we tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we tried. tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> How we tried. Building the resort, hiding me, and the baby barricans dressed as crabs. <laughs> How about Mavis's face when she saw the lizard monster? <laughs> oh, that was great. You know, we really had a great vacation after all. Not what we expected, but maybe even more fun. Yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. You know, why stop the fun now? Do we shrink from a challenge? We, we rise to it! Couldn't we put the umbrellas together with the fabric from the lizard costumes and make a tent? Yay! We'll have our beach party after all. I'll get the pineapple squares. Hey, what do you know? Stopped. Quick, before it starts again. <laughs> Okay. 
how about if I read you this one? A story that I wrote myself. Yeah! <laughs> it's a story that takes place right here in Berry Bitty City. Uh, am I in it, Pooh Belly? And me? And me? We're all in it. Oh. It's called The Very Long Winter. Now, you might think this all happened on a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. <laughs> All over town, people were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. Huh. That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Belly, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got it to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know, we might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now. And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicer rating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezer like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowmen. Our teams are uneven. Our 
team has four, you guys only have three. Hey. Yeah, you're right. Well, uh, I guess I could referee. to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't uh, thought sure. of any. Barricade Blue? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Should we put it to a vote? I love it! All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. Thank you. 
kitchen. I think our anything that's fun rule might work a little better if we mix up the teams. Blueberry, Plum, and Cherry, you guys form a team with three berrykins on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone, too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. Ooh, and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes. The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean... It didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah
I'm with Barry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berry sickles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really think we should. Sharing is what we should do. Oh, well, no, not I don't agree at all. all because no, we run out. We have to. to. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, all right. Oh, I yes, I agree. Yes, 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 This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. oh. What, 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 what will we do? Yeah. Well, what, oh. no, no, no. Did everyone vote? Yes, I did. Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us? For the whole town. We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have? When we don't really know how long the winter will last. Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is yes. Oh, let's go. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and reader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think, well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us, for the whole town. Yes, I agree. Yes. That's a great idea. Take it. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Right idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! We found our carrot thieves. But none of the carrots were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! <laughs>
tackled batter basics and basics of berry flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class, creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients, flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin! Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. Oh, It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness, we're all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy! Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon? Grape. No. Oh, strawberry. And yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a scent sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> this sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. Yeah! Oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom, after all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce for my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Now, how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, no! My jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. <laughs> Hello? Orange? Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange? 
Are you all right back there? I'm fine. Uh, just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself. Thank you. Anytime, strawberry. And oh my. I was going to put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. It's me, Marmalade. <laughs> oh, bless you. Hmm, with all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some... Sprinkles? Sure. Help yourself. I've got to get back to my cupcake. Come on. Are you okay? <coughs> I, I'm fine. <coughs> All that flour for one cupcake? Oh. I've got some major rethinking to do. I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrick and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrick and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrick and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah. Let's hide. It's Barrick and Bloom. Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrick and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But... How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here he comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running <laughs> and shouting. Ah! What in the world? Oh, my stars! What an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. 
They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point. But really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> Well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember, uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, I... then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can you team up with love the them. Or a well, cake. If Blueberry's Nor making a bigger cupcake, to too, then mine will be bigger, salt. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? <laughs> you may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey, that's it. I'll make a pupcake cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. <laughs> Right, Pupcake? It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? <coughs> of course! Oh, Custard! Please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <sighs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big. But isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Tell me you! So, that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Uh, well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, Gentlemen's Diversion Club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Uh, now, when was this club established? It's after me! 
It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <laughs> the lake. What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Can Bloom. Well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, do, whoa, whoa, do, whoa. Uh, oh dear, I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Cherry, just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then what in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes, but this a giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! you even build it? I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever eaten? What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come there's a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of control! <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... What happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see... We were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh! The ceremony's starting! You better get up there! The royal rutabaga. 
I am deeply honored, Princess Mary Kit. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, I, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> ah!